In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Apple Pay on your Apple Watch. The first thing we need to do is to make sure our Apple Watch is currently paired to our iPhone and they are close by. Once they are paired and they are close by, you want to open the watch application on your iPhone and then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you want to find where it says Wallet and Apple Pay and you want to click on that. As you can see, I already have multiple cards attached to my Apple Pay on my Apple Watch. However, if you want to add a new card, you want to click on Add Card and then you want to select the type of card you want to add. So in this case, it will be debit or credit card. And from here, you want to click on continue. Now it's going to prompt you to scan the card so it can enter the details manually. However, if you want to enter the details yourself, you want to click on enter card details manually at the bottom. And then you want to go ahead and enter in your card details and follow the step-by-step -step process. Once you've added the card to your Apple Pay on your Apple Watch, it will be added to the list of cards here at the top. So you want to select express travel card, and then you want to select the card you want to use by default. This will make paying with Apple Pay on your watch a lot quicker. So now we've set up the card on our Apple Pay, we just need to head over to our Apple Watch. So now we are using our Apple Watch. The first thing you need to do is to make sure it is on your wrist and it is unlocked. Once your Apple Watch is unlocked, you want to double tap the side button, not the crown button. And this will bring up the Apple Pay cards that you have set up. If you have multiple cards, you just want to go through and scroll to the card that you want to use. And once you've found that card you want to use, you just need to hold it next to the card reader. And after a few seconds, the Apple Pay transaction will successfully go through and your Apple Watch will return to its watch face. And that's it. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.